Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Novadu316 back at it once again. What the fuck? Let's try it again. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Novadu316 back at it once again with yet another Mario Party Superstars video. And what I have for you guys today is the Do Nothing Challenge, you know? I've seen Red Falcon do it. I know for a fact that there's probably other YouTubers out there that have done it. So I decided to go ahead and take a crack at it myself and just see how it goes how it turns out i'm rosalina because rosalina's cool and yeah honestly i'm excited because i don't have to do anything at all in this video and i'm gonna tell you guys right now it actually allowed me to do other stuff while just playing the game I was literally just watching, um, Smash Bros. sets the entire time <laughs> while just doing nothing on here. Like, I was literally watching two of the tournaments on, um, VG Boot Camp, right? And those tournaments were Bay 100 and also, um, Ultra Hard. I'm not gonna get into those tournaments too, too much, but Bay 100 was like a tournament in Pennsylvania, and... ZD ended up getting first place with Fox Player. Literally made Zomba, like, look like a freaking crybaby. It was kind of hilarious. Zomba, you know what? It, it's kind of just the type of person he is, I guess, which isn't completely bad, at least yet, especially considering he's my age, but in the future, it'll definitely cause funny, um, clips for, um, YouTube videos, you know? So that'll be interesting, but I just thought it was interesting how man's gonna just, like, set his controller down and let ZD kill him. I was like, oh, okay. Also, in mini games like this, you're gonna be seeing zeros a lot. And my goal is to not get those types of mini games Because if not, I don't get any coins. And as you can see, I've got completely no coins at all. Alrighty guys, we got a hidden block, you know, we're in last place, so there's a chance of it being a star, but, you know, it's early in the game, so, it was coins, but, you know, still grateful for the coins that we got. Definitely was very beneficial getting those 11 coins right there, because that puts us in a position to possibly have enough by the time we get to the star, like Mario did here, as he is gonna be the first one to go ahead and acquire a star, if it wasn't obvious already, everyone else gets to do something, but I have to do nothing. And I don't know how, but I got second in that minigame. As you can see, I got three coins, they got two, they got nothing, and then Peach won. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, as a fair warning, some of the people that I'm playing with here online are actually stupid. They are genuinely stupid. And you wanna know why they're stupid? Because of stuff like the Mushroom Mix-Up minigame. If I was trying to actually play the game against people that were good, I wouldn't even get third place. I would probably be the first one to go out. But those people literally just had to walk to the platform. But instead, they just fell into the water before I could even fall into the water. I was just like, what the heck? I was like, why? It's actually super sad. Alright, we got this minigame right here, so I'm thinking to myself, am I going to get the move at all? You know... We did get past the, um, first set of arrows. That's progress. Right? That's progress. Also, look at how long it takes one to finish this and look at my record. If I really wanted to play this minigame, I could have easily won it. Like, and I'm saying that with confidence. Also, what the hell was Mario doing there? Man could have easily beaten Daisy, but just took a sharp turn right at the finish line. But, like... Not in a sharp turn that you'd want to take, like, a sharp turn into the wrong direction. After that, you got this video game right here, and I'm just looking at this, and I'm like, how is Mario contending with Peach and Daisy 
thing is, that starts to go down eventually. Um, Peach and Daisy start kicking his ass. And I'm just sitting over here feeling bad because it's like, I could be contributing. I could be. But I'm not. That's the thing. I'm not. Mario did did an alright job. He got one. At least we didn't get 11 to 0, bro. That would be embarrassing. Peach is going to end up landing on a Bowser space. And Bowser is going to go ahead and service up some of that communism. We all love communism. I want to see a bunch of communisms in the comments. Literally all caps, just the word communism. Y'all, let's make it happen right now. But, let's be real. Communism sets up a bunch of crazy opportunities in Mario Party, so. Pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So we did end up getting to the star, which is good. But we are currently rolling the slowest right now, which doesn't help. And if we're not going to be able to win most of the mini games, we're going to literally have to get all of our coins from the board. So we need to get lucky spaces and stuff like, well, that's a lucky space. But the thing is, we ended up getting a custom dice block instead of coins, which is cool if I could actually fucking use it. But it's the do nothing challenge, so... It's completely and utterly useless unless the game recommends me to use the item. Because from there, the default option is to actually use the item. But for now, it's just sitting there. It's literally just sitting there. Alright, also this minigame right here. Uh, 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 uh. Honestly... I can't get too, too mad at these people because I'm not even that good at this mini game, like, on the one or free side. But, you know, yeah. We're just gonna get mad at them because the more we're mad at them, you know, the more it makes it seem like we weren't actually doing nothing, maybe. But our piranha plant was doing something, y'all. Our piranha plant now, man's decided to go to work. Man's decided, I'm gonna go ahead and steal coins from Peach. I'm gonna go ahead and steal coins from Daisy. Also, this is what I hate about the shop. The default option is to literally buy a mushroom. I can't use the mushroom unless the game recommends me to use an item, and in that case, the mushroom being the first thing. So yeah, like the custom dice puck, the mushroom is useless. Literally useless. Also, I want to know how, but how do I collect a coin? Like, genuinely. How did I collect a coin in this video game? I want to understand. I can't do anything. I'm just falling. I'm literally free falling. And I am somehow doing some sort of contribution to my team. Alright, Daisy, two turns in a row, is going to land on the plant. The plant was really taking numbers from Daisy. Alright, now I land on my own plant, alright? And he just gives me coins. I'm like, you know what? Sure, I'll take it. But this is what I did not want to take, was the default option... To be to pay 30 coins to make the piranha plant bigger so it could take stars possibly. Also, by the way, if you actually look, Mario somehow managed to go out immediately. I don't know how. I legitimately do not know how someone could be that stupid. To literally, like, go out on the very first one. Unless we're doing a do-nothing challenge, but... Mario was not doing the do nothing challenge, so man's got literally no excuse whatsoever. Nothing. Literally no excuse at all, y'all. None. Alrighty, guys, so right here we got me landing on a piranha plant now. This time it's Peach's piranha plant. And it's going to take some of my coins, unfortunately. 
Now we've got someone landing on a Bowser's face. Honestly, okay, it's Mario. At first I was gonna say I don't know who it is at all because I forgot, like I genuinely forgot who it was that landed on the Bowser space. But you know what? It is what it is, I guess. All right, we got this mini game right here, and I find this mini game pretty interesting. I am on the right side. Mario just knows that he doesn't have to go to the right side, but what he doesn't know is that they could angle the ball to the right side. But guess what? Do they do that? No. We could have actually won that minigame if they were good, but they're not. I can't really talk, though, you know? You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't talk so much crap about these people because I'm doing nothing, but at the same time, I still feel as if I can talk crap about how badly these people play, so I I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Good job on your star, I guess, Daisy. I bet it feels good to be able to play the game. But Daisy did also get a hidden block that turn. That gave her some coins. I ended up getting a hidden block right here. And this was actually big, massive. First ever hidden block we've gotten before. That was a star. Because we've gotten hidden blocks before now, y'all, on the channel, but... We haven't actually gone and gotten ourselves a star. Now we got this mini game where we just get to be eaten by a chain chomp or I guess just pushed out of the way. It would be cool if they actually made the chain chomps eat us, in my opinion, but you know what? I'm just I'm just a teenager. Nintendo Nintendo knows what's best. Alright, here we got Peach getting herself another star. The thing that's actually crazy is that I don't get last place in this mini game. How? How are you that fucking stupid, my guy? How are they all that stupid? How did it genuinely last for only that short amount of time? That's what I want to know. Like, I really just want to know. I really just want to know. Alright, so Peach is going to land on the Bowser space, and she's going to have to give up 30, 30 other coins to Bowser, guys. 30 coins. That's pretty massive. 30 coins is more than a star. That's literally a star and a half in coins, y'all, so that was pretty crazy. And at this point, your boy is in third. But I think we actually went to fourth once we got, yeah. We're in fourth place now, y'all. Things are looking bad. This mini game right here, I don't know how. But Daisy, knowing that I am doing the do nothing challenge, is going to look right where I'm looking and go out on the first round. It was just easy pickings for Peach. And I just don't understand why. Then after that, Mario went the same way three times in a row. Fool me once. I don't know the saying, but I'm just going to make up the saying. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I must be Mario in this fucking minigame because I'm a dumbass right now. God. Alright, we got this mini game right here, you know. If we make it at least halfway, in my opinion, I think that's pretty good. But it don't look like we're even gonna make it halfway. Pretty unfortunate. Pretty darn unfortunate. No, we actually did make it halfway. Let's go! You can get halfway through the Space Meteor mini game by doing nothing. Literally doing nothing. Look at how close I am to this pizza. It's like, ooh, I like that crust, but... They're, they're just... The crust is still there. But that's because we're doing nothing. Also, I land on chance time. 
I was thinking to myself, I don't know if the thing's actually going to, like, let me just not press anything. I should probably have looked into this, because I was actually thinking to myself, what if I land on chance time? And I decided, me just not even taking this seriously, to um, mess up my mashing and not even put it on a star. It wouldn't have mattered for our sake, but still. If we would have at least had it go to a star, you know, it would have been cooler at least. You know what I mean? Also, I want to know why these two people are so f***ing bad at this minigame. Like, on some real shit. On some real shit, bro. Daisy, what the hell are you doing, girl? I don't understand this. <laughs> Peach putting the cake on top of the other cake. That's kind of funny. Alright, Daisy's gonna land on a lucky space. You know, this is the final turn. 20 coins, that was the most optimal thing she could have done, honestly, other than possibly get to the star. Mario's gonna go ahead and get to the star. Man was already in first place. Let me just go ahead and extend my lead. Man is basically set now for victory at this point with a full star lead. All right, now we got this mini game right here. Thing is, I suck at this mini game. And if I was actually trying, I would lose. So I'm wondering to myself, can I win by doing nothing? And right now, things are looking possible. I wish Daisy would have gotten rid of Mario. However. Because Mario. Actually seemed to be pretty smart. He seemed like the smartest player out of everyone. I don't know why. Peach should have just left it up to chance. She knows that I'm doing nothing. So she could have had a complete easy playing field. But instead, she's just going to go ahead and just be like, alright, you're out. Kind of made me mad, not going to lie. But you know what? It is what it is. You know, at least we didn't get dead last in every minigame. At least we actually, like, almost won a minigame. You know, like, especially the Mushroom freaking mix-up game, bro. How did we get second on that, bro? I just don't understand. Alright, so the item bonus ended up going to Peach and Mario because they used the most items. Something that you can't do in the Do Nothing Challenge. So, biased freaking bonus star. Then after that, the next bonus star we got is the Bowser Space bonus star. You know, that could have been possible. It went to Peach. And because of that... I got last, Daisy got third, and then Mario got second, so that means your winner is Peach, Princess fucking Peach, so with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, be sure to leave a like if you did in fact enjoy, also please be sure to hit that subscribe button, it would really mean a lot to me. Be sure to go follow my Instagram. My Instagram tags in the description of this video as always. And also be sure to go support me by paying me money on Cash App because your boy's currently not monetized and does not make any money unless it's your money. So it would really mean a lot if you did that. But before I do go, I do want to thank you guys all so much for the support on the last two Mario Party videos. They have actually been getting a super high amount of views in comparison to my other videos. And honestly, I, I find it sort of shocking, but at the same time, I understand why and how. But regardless, thank you so much for that. And with all that being said, I love you guys all so much. Hope to catch you on the next one. I am out of here, y'all. Fucking out of here, y'all. Peace.